why would they act like say we did free when we know that we are not free why do we act like we are free and still demand freedom there are certain people in this country i don't know what they do then bad bad things they always sweet there for body when bad things happen for this country it is sweet there anytime bad thing happen they feel it's their duty to point they are in the banks happy to launder money they are in the civil servants they are the civil servants corrupting all the public institutions they are the lecturers correcting bribe to past students all these professionals everywhere in the police in the army in all the institutions in this country they are the ones assisting the oppressors to spoil this country constantly and then they are happy when bad things happen but we don't want to agree. Delusional. Nigeria no one agrees with they under imperialism. They will say which white man? White man is not your problem. Face the people. Who is enabling them? Where did they hide all their money when they tifa? Who are the people controlling majority of the economy in this country? But they are not a problem. Delusional. Complain about price of fuel and price of dollar. As if that's the problem of Nigeria. Talking every time about economic problem. We forget the human problem of this country. The humanity of our people detached from us. We're supposed to voice about our humanity. We push our humanity to secondary. Will they discuss economic problem, economic, economic, every day, TV, TV, economic, investment, foreign investment, in this one, in dollar it, in a foreign price, in marketers, in crude oil, yeah, yeah. Every discussion in Nigeria is economic. No human discussion. Every day I'm driving my car, more and more children are on the street selling, hawking during school hours. During school hours, so the day road, they hawk, they sell for their parents. They, 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 nobody could educate them no thing to even if now only 10 of those children they do harm how many of those children will hug for the rest of their life how many will come up for the hawking enter other nefarious activity and with the talk of insecurity for nigeria your own picking never they do that kind of hawking never get that kind of muscle your picking they have they sleep they go private school they enter a simoto if that one grow up come to arm robber finish if you catch him if you talk to that boy if you catch your picking if you give and blow, go we'll vomit all that bugger immediately. <laughs> so there's a delusion in Nigeria with the few waiting to go on from insecurity to corruption to any goddamn. And it's a delusion that we are free. We we like our delusions. We hold on to these delusions. That's why we know we buy all these expensive things, do all these uh, big parties and everything just to show that uh, I enjoy life, I enjoy life. Everybody just wants to show that he's enjoying life. That's why we want to show that we are enjoying life by force. Because we know that we are suffering. Now, the way they suffer must enjoy life by force. So if we are claiming in Nigeria that we want to be free, if we claim to this country, we, we every time we election, we must have our freedom, freedom, freedom. But we are not acting like people that are not free. I don't understand. I don't understand that. If you know, say we know they free, it means you must know that you are not free. So why would not they act like people we know they free, so that we can become free? Why do we act like we are free? Why would they act like say we did free when we know that we are not free? Why do we act like we are free and still demand freedom? The delusion who they tell us say money will make you free, money, money. And we we know. We know for a fact say the same oppression where they happen to the poor Africans in the stage of the, the big Africans too are going through the same thing. When they are guys they invest for them. Not like this. So that is just make me feel say man this morning i'm gonna share with the people say man if we know say we are truly not free they almost begin to act like that and the only solution for people will be say they know they're free to become free is to organize towards freedom organize for freedom there are certain people in this country i don't know what they do then 
bad bad things they always sweet there for body when bad things happen for this country it is sweet there anytime bad thing happen they feel it's their duty to point mocking finger at those people when they try and make the country good it is their job to quickly come outside and laugh to support the bad bad things and they are majority of the nigerian professionals and they like to support all this because they have sold their people out they are in the banks they are in the banks happy to launder money they are in the civil servants they are in the civil servants corrupting all the public institutions they are the lecturers correcting bribe to past students all these professionals everywhere in the police in the army in all the institutions in this country they are the ones assisting the oppressors to spoil this country constantly and then they are happy when bad things happen or when bad things happen to people that are trying to do good things that they would make noise that they would quickly use their way because they only have to afford data whether i like it or not only a minority of nigerians are online how many they talk 40 million nigerians are online 40 million exactly out of 200 million if only 40 million are online what does that tell you what does that tell you? What does that tell you? They are the errand boys, the yes men, the psychophants, happy. Sing praise song. Support every candidate that is ready to pay any money. People with no conscience, with no honor. And at the same time, these people still want you to treat them like people with conscience and people with honor. Why they behave as if they have no conscience and no honor. At the same time, delusion now. We must remove the delusion of the delusions from our reality and we must remove the delusions from our mind and face our reality especially we as african people all over the world because if the people that they look up to are not fixing your human problems then you must fix your problems yourself no get me wrong bro. when are they talk for instagram me i know say i'm talking to the minority of nigerians online now the mistake when many of now here they make with that when i think say on our allies to fix Nigeria are your fellow comment commentators online. Say now our fellow Instagram account holders. The people who fix Nigeria never get Instagram. Home. They cannot even afford the Instagram account. The phone where they go take buy, take get Instagram accounts. That's why they need all these poor people can only afford mainstream media. Home. That's why they need all these influencers and celebrities to lie to them home. because they don't if you can't find out the fact by themselves. That's why they need all these celebrities to they twist the truth in the movies, in the songs. Because now they are the people they get information no? from local popular TV. Oh. They don't get all this amenities we want get. In here, we are the minority. From this place, we must still build communities on ground. Our victory not be online victory with the final. Our victory now on ground victory. Because the community is there on ground. We will understand when we talk about, say, education. Not be this one's way private school don't confuse their brain when they don't know say if they fight for good public education no rich man will feel they bad them they collect school fees their community will get good schools where all their children will go that money they will and go holiday like the children of the rich people that they look up to that money they give them for school fees then will they take and go holiday with their children Say affordable housing go day. They're not going to do big man to stay for lucky by force. Lucky will get affordable housing. This is not Africa. We get limestone, we get everything. We get 200 million people who will build all the house. We'll not be Europeans and Americans. We'll not be settler colony. We get the numbers, we get the resource, we get the space. All we lack is the will. The will. Because we believe too much in the European concept of private ownership. Europeans don't teach you and say without loving, without owning something, you cannot love it. If it's not your own, it will not matter to you. You must own to love. Capitalist love. Finish. That's why I like romance. <coughs> romance is the love money can buy. Nobody wants that real building together. We will bring that self-reflection, self-critique. We talk that we go through that grinding process break every rebuild every break them again review because now process but that private ownership concept you know i mean for nigeria say if you adopt picking so when we actually have to grow on these things we must understand 
like Che Guevara talks, is also revolution is also an expression of love. But not be this small love that they teach us, but that real love. Not be this capitalist love. We be saying the only way you own you must love. My 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 my. If there's no my in front of it, you cannot love it. So this place where we did so, we are the minority here on this on on this line. Who would they? On this line, this shaky line. We come here to meet because we notice it's online, a shaky place. We must go on ground. They stand up to do the work. Organize, meet the people, share the vision with them because I never understand when you talk to them about healthcare. All these other ones, private hospitals don't scatter their brain. For them, going to Turkey is a flex. Going to London to treat tummy ache is a flex. These are not the people that you want to tell that they are not free. The thing going to Turkey to treat themselves is this ultimate sign of freedom. The thing being able to go to America to treat themselves is the ultimate sign of freedom. This not be the people who they talk to. They can't hear. They can't hear. Capitalism don't. Online, we are finding our community. Those of us that can afford it, the professional. Forget all these people that think that the more European things that you can afford, the more humans that you are. That can only express freedom by doing easy things. We, the unfree, we know that freedom is the ability to do the hard, hard things to take the hard decisions we that we are on free we know that freedom is self-discipline not misbehaving anyhow we that are free know that to be a man means to serve and to protect at all times not to oppress and use power we that we are on free know what it really means to be africans because nothing is more caged Nothing is more caged in this world than the African identity. And if you believe that you are African, you must know that you are where your identity is. That's why we have all these trans-African people all over the world. Trans-Africans, that's what I call them. Trans people. I'm an American. I'm a British. Nigerian person they born for Nigeria. I don't know. They just give a British passport two months ago. I'm British. You are a bi. You are an African man with British passport. And like, uh, what was it called? Like Dead Prey said in their album, in their great revolutionary album, let's get free. If we are free, we cannot be saying, let's get free. So the question you must ask yourself this week, this week, the question for the week, is if we know we are not free, why do we act like we are free? So, e ma ka bo o titi wa digba mi ta njo ba fojun jiro ri kan ni wo tv pelu akotun eto banko gbi mi e ti mo mi ki ma wo le daru po ara mi mo emi lo mo pada bo eyin na e ma ku lori kan ni wo tv ame ma ba mi like e ma share ke de ma subscribe titi wa digba enko ire o please note views and opinions expressed in the course of this program do not represent that of wo tv therefore this channel is not liable to any legal action that may result from this program